So you've made a cool looking spaceship and now you want to texture it. Let's jump over to textures.com and find our material. This one will work nicely. Let's now jump over into the shading tab. Let's go shift A and search image texture. Let's click open and find our texture. Double click, bam. Let's plug the color into our base color. And now let's UV unwrap it. So select your object, press tab to go into edit mode. U, smart UV project. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. What? That doesn't look fancy. That's fine, let's do it to everything. If you wanna have difference in panels, select one part, Control L, U, Smart UV Project, and then let's select the next panel, L, U, Smart UV Project. And now we've got different sizes and different looks. Let's now jump over into Render View and let's have a look. If these parts are looking a bit too small, that's quite simple, let's click on that. Let's go up to UV Texture, select our UV area, scale by 0.5, and if we have a look again, it's now increased in size. From here, what we can do, let's up the metallic, increase our specularity, and bring down our roughness. Now let's make some other parts pop. Select the parts that you wanna be different, let's go tab into Edit Mode, Let's create a new material and I'm just going to make this one simply black rubber. The other shiny parts, I'm just going to create a new material and I'm going to make this super metallic, super shiny. Bring that down and I might make it a bit of a copper color. Let's control I, then invert that selection and click assign and then we can play with the color a little bit. Now go around and choose all your pieces. But Marco, what if I want to put a star field? Over here on the left, let's select object and we'll change that to world. Let's go shift A, search and add in a noise texture. In there, we're gonna put in a color ramp. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Factor, color, let's increase our scale. Let's increase our details. And now let's find our balance of darkness and our stars. We can change the background to an emission color so that our stars give illumination. And now we don't have much contrast. So what we can do is we can go into top view. Let's go shift A and we can just add a nice big UV sphere. Let's move that off to the side. From here, I'm gonna create a new material. Let's go back into object mode. Let's delete the principal shader shift a let's add in an emission shader bring that across and i'm going to make this a nice sky blue with a strength of about 10. let's turn our sun color into a little slight yellow f12 on that and we have a nice looking spaceship now if you want to do one more thing we can select the camera come into depth of field let's select our focus object on that i'm going to change the f-stop to about 1.8 and now when i press f12 the front of the ship will be a little bit out of focus and the rest will look mm -mm 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 -mm.